everybody. Welcome to Sketching Sundays with me, artist Dawn Crothers. So this week we are going to be inspired by the autumn. I love to always be inspired by the seasons and now we're going to start off by, we went for a little walk earlier, we went for a little walk in the forest earlier. And this is a fun project you can do at home in your garden or the park or whatever. So you can go out and have Get some lovely sort of autumnal um, leaves. We've got lots of browns, yellows, lots of nice things. So you can spend the day or afternoon going out and get some of these. You can actually just draw the leaves, which is really nice. Lots of um, colour and you've got reds and browns and all the leaves and all the lovely things you can find that's falling off the trees. We can turn this into a nice piece of art today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use all these leaves as inspiration to create um, an, an autonomous snail. Okay, so if anybody knows my artwork, they would know that I love to paint snails. And today we're going to turn these snails into a really lovely autumn world. So we're going to start off in the middle. Usually we, in sketching Sundays, we just sketch, but today I just feel like we need to use a little bit of colour. So you can follow along with me, just maybe even just watch. And I'm going to start off the middle here. Have a look, feel, have a look for my berries. I'm just using a nice little brown paint. Let's just bring you a little bit closer. So maybe you don't see me, but you see artwork is that better yeah here we go okay so I'm use, actually using the paintbrush sketch really opposed to a pencil I'm just using a nice brown color it's an autumn -y sort of color and I'm sort of using making nice marks for leaves You could do your autumn picture, whichever way you see. You could just do the leaves. You could do an autumn tree for me. I actually think we could probably do some, if I was doing a larger painting, which I think I'm going to, I think I would do some animals for sure inside my snail shell. making some nice little movements around our brush. Just going to get the sort of shape of the snail and then we can kind of decorate inside. A nice autumnal animal could possibly be Fox. I think a lovely curled up fox would be lovely. It would work really well. I'm just using my brush to make nice sharp edges and soft ones. And that's the thing about nature. You can the great thing about painting nature is can't really get it wrong because no leaves or berries or flowers or anything like that are the same so you can use your imagination quite a bit when you're sketching, painting, leaves, trees, flowers, anything natural you can kind of just, just take inspiration by looking at it lovely leaves just here and a lovely kind of swirling some more little berries around here and I've got quite some nice colors as well to use today I think I definitely might go very large with this painting I would love for any snail ideas, autumn snail ideas you could give me, get me started on this project. Okay, 
nice. So that's looking nice. Now we can move with some little fairies over here. Now you could do this just with your pencil as well. It would look just as nice. Maybe you can bring that out so it's just a little bit more interesting, a little bit more natural and organic. Okay, yes, I really like this. Let's just bring this around a little bit like that. That looks great. And we're going to add our head. here to our snail maybe a nice twirly twirly lovely tail that looks good and then we'll have some lovely tennis just here nice swirly ones Now we always have to do the eye, just the way I like to do my eye. Now in real life, snail's eyes are not here, but that is just fine. You can create your own world. In art, you don't have to do things. There's no rules. If you want the eyes to be here, the eyes can be there. looks quite sweet. Just a little bit of texture just here. A little bit of hair there. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Okay, so that's our little sketch done. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of colour. I've got this really amazing gold. Again, you don't have to have gold, you could use orange like a light brown, all different shapes of brown, colours of brown, light brown, orangey brown. Let's add a little bit of colour for you to give you a little idea. And a little bit of red maybe where the berries are. Just represent some nice little falling leaves. Maybe use a little bit of yellow. Okay, have a little bit of brown, a little bit of blue actually. It's Nice sort of earthy tone. Just mix it with a little bit of yellow and you get a nice green. Okay. Need some more brown. There we go. Now I could actually keep going and going, but it's over to you guys. And I want to see some of your autumn paintings, whether it is a snail or a tree or maybe just a leaf or whatever. So thank you for joining me again this week. Please like and share and tell all your friends 
If they enjoy art too, let them know about these classes and we can all join in together. Thank you, bye.